why has that gone off? Why is that just, uh, there we go. Good evening every, everybody and uh, welcome to South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters uh, tonight out on the location in an abandoned farm so uh, we've been here at least uh, two hours hi Shane I, I can't see where I am at the moment I'll let you know uh, 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 in, a, in a text message uh, where, where we are but uh, Anyway, good evening everybody, and uh, thanks for uh, uh, joining us this evening uh, while we do our uh, live uh, investigation here uh, at, a, at an abandoned uh, farm. Uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> like I said, we've been here a few hours, and uh, we've had a, a little bit uh, uh, of activity uh, while we've been here, and uh, hopefully we're going to get some more. Uh, Shane, I can't at the moment. I'll, me I'll text message you. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, put me off now. What am I going to say? <laughs> so we're to the band and form. And uh, I'm here with Tony uh, tonight uh, doing this uh, uh, this uh, investigation uh, with him. So I hope, and like I said, uh, earlier on when we, we, we was here, we was upstairs and we heard... Uh, Noises coming from downstairs and, and banging. Uh, you'll uh, you would have seen that in in the video because uh, we was filming uh, offline as well as we was filming on uh, as we are online now. So we thought we'd just come live uh, so everybody could interact uh, with the uh, uh, with the video uh, uh, that we're doing here. So uh, this this farmhouse that we're at. Uh, it's just been left abandoned. Everything in it, uh, the furniture, the, the f food in the cupboards, everything has just been left. And uh, <clears throat> plates, even tins of baked beans that have been opened up and uh, they've gone mouldy, as you can see there. Food on, on the side here has just, just totally gone mouldy. Bits of food in the cupboards here. And uh, also uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, pots, pans, cups, dishes in the sink have just been left. So I'm not sure if these people left in a hurry or, or whatever. Uh, so a bit strange that everything just was just left here. Most of the stuff that we find in here is dating back from the 1960s, well, 1935. Uh, uh, some of the stuff that uh, uh, we've uh, we've come across here. There's a couple of uh, passport photos. I'm not going to show you them on, on, on the live, just in case anybody uh, is watching and, and knows where we are. Uh, so, uh, but uh, we, we're finding stuff in house from, from 19, 1930s up to round about present day uh the last items we found is up to about 2005 uh with some of the stuff that we've uh, we've come across but I'm not sure uh, anything after that we found clips of newspapers from 1960s uh, as well anyway just to let you know uh that I've got a rem pod down here on on the on the table oh it's going off already Okay, is that somebody here? Because it was going off earlier on. Can you light it up fully if there's somebody here? 
come and touch uh, the the REM pod. <coughs> Can you fully touch the REM pod to to let us know you're here? Not sure if that was me that was causing that. Okay, let me back away from that just in case it it is me that is causing that. It, but we don't usually get any issues with REM pods. my breath then if there's somebody here can you touch that device on the table again that blue light just to let me know that somebody is here come forward show me a sign that you're here You can communicate by touching that device just by letting us know that you're here and you want to speak to us. Uh, I think that we believe that the last farmer that lived here was called Frank. Are you here, Frank? Would you like to come forward, Frank, and speak to us? Show me a sign that you're here, Frank, and can you touch that blue light on, on, on the table? That is called the REM pod. And what will happen if you touch that? It will. There is some lights on there. There's four lights, and you'll light up green. Can you come and show me a sign that you're here? Okay, we're not getting nothing at the moment from that. So I'm just going to show you a quick look round downstairs at uh, where we are. So here in this cupboard here, uh, we believe that it could have been the old cellar. But it looks like it's been filled in because uh, uh, we, we've not found we've not found the cellar here yet. So uh, we think this, that this could be uh, could be an old cellar. There's water uh, down here, so it looks like this could have been like part of uh, a workshop. Okay, movement upstairs. I think that's Tony. Oops, I just slipped. So there's bits of tools lying around, spanners, and uh, other bits of rusty uh, old uh, old stuff. Chest freezer there, uh, in the middle of the floor. Big toolbox there. Because obviously it's just dust. Very dusty, uh, very dusty down here. Hi, Joanne. Anyway, you're gonna go uh, into. There's two living rooms down here. I'm gonna go into. This is the old way here. <clears throat> Tell me what you feel, everybody. Uh, do you uh, do you feel anything with uh, with this building? Hi, there's Tony. All right. How's it going? Rempod. Which which rempod is it? That one. That one, yeah. Okay, that one because that's just not doing that, is it? Battery's going in it already. I'll have to change it for the uh, for another one. Yeah, it's gone. Is that one going off before? Yeah, the, well, I walked past it and it went off. Yeah. Hi, Tony. Hi. 
No, not you, other Tony. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we're uh, in one of the uh, lounge areas here uh, right now, as you can see. Uh, <clears throat> one thing that we put down here uh, at the moment is uh, some uh, some flashy balls on on a piano uh, that uh, that is here. Is this is all and uh, WH needs them. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this is an electric piano, uh, and it also takes the uh, the old uh, reels uh, where. Ship me up then. Hi, Diane. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the one of the old pianos where electric uh, uh, and uh, or it could have been wound uh, a wind up piano because we can't see any any wires that come off it. I believe it could be wind up, couldn't it? Or oh, is that what's that down there? Is that wire? No, it's not. It's pipes, isn't it? Yeah, maybe you had to sit at the piano, press the pedals down, uh, to pump it up and because uh, you can feel the pump. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, that's what it uh, probably was. Yeah, it's gone right when you aren't it. Is it? What, that made that bind you think earlier on? No, not the bind, but the, like the woofing sound. The woofing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called. The woofing sound. The woofing sound. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I bet not many people know what that is, do they? Do, do you know what that is, everybody? <laughs> people are going, eh? <clears throat> what is it? <clears throat> and, uh, eh? Yeah, the, yeah, there's padlocks. Like where we come to uh, in the house, the, every door's got a padlock on it. So we're not too sure if this one's could have been, because uh, it's, it's a farmhouse, and believe it could have been a, a bed and breakfast as well. But this is one of the uh, one of the other rooms here, and uh, there's an old computer there. Looks like from the 1990s. Lots of rubbish, lots of old records in here as well, uh, dating back from the 60s. Everly Brothers, we found. Uh, Video videotapes, lethal weapon down there. Uh, the uh, the movie, a lot of CDs. There's on uh, on here. There's a pack of uh, CDs. Now, which ones are they? Them fifty discs, uh, recordable PC line, recordable six hundred fifty mil. Oh, they want to fit the film on them. They probably would have fitted like music on because when uh, I was looking around, I did say I wonder if they used to copy uh, CDs here. And ah, uh, uh, oh, yep. <coughs> and uh, what they call it? Uh, there's a there's an old printer here. And uh, on the printer. There is uh, old uh, labels that you put over top of CDs. If you look here. So uh, let me uh, see, see if I can get one off. So you print the label out like what you used to do back then in the old days, back in the nineties, and then that would go over the top of the CD. So uh, we're thinking that uh, there may have been a bit naughty. And then some uh, copy in here. So yeah, we're finding that we're finding stuff here dating back from 1935 all the way up to like 
early 2000s, 2005 uh, of, of stuff. So, but uh, there's rubbish everywhere, you know, clothes, uh, belongings uh, that, that belong to people. But uh, it just looks like that uh, whoever lived here just got up and, and left. Uh, Everly Brothers, uh, Diane, yeah. Uh, so, uh, and we also noticed that the person, the, probably the young lad that lived here, was heavily into uh, uh, making uh, models, you know, planes, cars, that sort of thing. And there's quite a bit of uh, with uh, with trains here in the uh, in the building as well. So, uh, I assume he must have been a fanatic. Uh, with, uh, with with regard, uh, with regarding uh, trains. So yeah, records on the floor here. Uh, American records. Uh, what's that? I ain't got a clue what that says. Pat Boone. I've heard of Pat Boone. Uh, so that could have been something that uh, the father may have been into. But there's an old Xbox One box here. So we don't think it's been long. Where's the Xbox One? There is an Xbox One. Uh... So nice. What's that Sony thing there? What's that? The Sony what? H H D M A. Not sure what that is. Oh, PlayStation box there. Uh, I uh, Shaz Sharon. Whoever lived here must have must have been into Jeremy Clarkson because uh, there's quite a few videos uh, lying about of uh, of Jeremy Clarkson VHS videos. <coughs> Laura Croft there. So uh, there you go. That's uh, this. This is downstairs. Did you make a noise about two minutes ago? I haven't heard any noise, no. Haven't you? I've just been walking about. So. Alright. So I'm going to show you one of the uh, one of the bedrooms up here. We was a bit worried about coming up here earlier on <coughs> because uh, the ceiling is collapsing in some places. So uh, this got quite a few rooms up here. So there's another level there, and another level here. <laughs> now earlier on we went up these stairs here, so this goes up another level. And uh, when we was up here, and came back down, there was movement going off up here. Like somebody had been moving around. So uh, there you go. We're in one of the uh, one of the bedrooms here. Forty-two inch LCD TV box there. Scale electrics. Some uh, old uh, pictures of uh, dogs there. Very nice camera. PS1 uh, Helmet Shy uh, horse there
So, uh, anyway, we, when I go back downstairs, I'm going to, uh, uh, what I call it, uh, see if we can uh, catch anything while uh, while we're here. Like I said, we set up some uh, some uh, rem pods and flushy balls. We'll probably have a go at the Nacrophonics as well. And uh, see if we can get anything with that. This must have been the master bedroom. Uh, what you can see here with the bed here, this is an old bed. I'm not too sure about the history, Sharon. Not too sure at all. Well, we uh, was looking for a band of buildings yesterday, me and Tony, and we come across this one and thought we'd uh, give it a shot. But uh, quite interesting anyway with what we uh, what we're finding. I don't know why the people just left everything here. I ain't got a clue. So uh, new things. It's fine things lying about. Trophies there, laid about, bits and bobs on there, sewing stuff. We 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 know that they've been to Cyprus. Uh, we know the the family name, uh, and you see that on on the video if you watch the video on on YouTube. We don't want to give out too much at the moment, just in case anybody knows where we are. Now this newspaper is from the nineteen sixties, uh, nineteen. 68 the year I was born January the 7th and it's the Sunday mirror and it's from 1968 you can see the date up there <clears throat> so there you go so a newspaper from a bit of a newspaper from 1968. It doesn't look much different to what papers look like today. Sort of thing. So there you go. Old clothes there in a wardrobe. Collected mould. Look, even the board, even the uh, sideboard here, it looks like it's uh, collecting some form of mould as well. Not really looked in the uh, in the drawers. Can't even get that, get them open. They're uh, they're stiff now. So I wonder if anybody could have died on this bed. Maybe the uh, the farmer may have died here uh, in the bed. Maybe that's why everybody left. Maybe uh, he uh, was the one that keeping the family together here, the farmer, and uh, <clears throat> this is where the family lived. And uh, when he probably passed away, uh, that uh, he the family just left. And. Uh, So hopefully you've seen this video okay. Now there's the two bathrooms here. Really strange this because there's two bathrooms. Uh, so we got we got a bathroom here. See every 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 door's got a lock on. So, so we don't know why this this way we're thinking that it may have been. Uh, uh, Bed and breakfast or something. An old bath here. Looks very grubby. Look at the taps on the uh, on the bath. Towels in there. Sink there. Pink sink. There you go, look, pink sink, head and shoulders. 
Even the toothbrush is still in the packet still. This is the uh, second bathroom here. Just a toilet. Oh, it's just a toilet. Look at that. Just look at that old thing there. Let me know. I see one of the two of these uh, things uh, uh, about before in the past. So you'd uh, you come in here, you probably uh, could have been in the bathroom to start off with, uh, and uh, it was in the bathroom, you hang your clothes on there, jump to the bath for a shower or whatever, <coughs> but it's really old. Inside the cupboard here, there's various I've been in here, old uh, razors, Blooming hundreds of them, razor blades, Vaseline, uh, what else, it's just, oops, oh, I'm just sitting on this chair and it's giving way, so I don't want to break it, so I best come off it, it's rotted, it's had it. I think that's it for up here, another wardrobe here. Full of clothes. So we, me and Tony were thinking if it was uh, some sort of uh, of a bed set uh, that uh, clown here. Very strange. So there must have been a female, a girl here as well. It's Tony downstairs. So we're going to go up this level here, these stairs here, there's two more rooms up here. Computer ribbon cable. Is it computer? No, it's not a computer ribbon cable. No, it's not. It's a belt. It looks like a, probably a belt for a, a guitar. I remember my teacher in school having something like that. That colour, or oh, it's a bite strap, or whatever. Look at this room here, this bedroom here. Now, this picture is from 1935. And it's uh, the Chesterfield Gills High School. So I'm not sure if anybody knows anything about uh, the Chesterfield High School. But this is uh, this is from 1930, October 1935. From the Chesterfield Old, uh, Old Gills School. So, there you go. Flag up on the wall there. In that, there's, there's nothing in that door at the back there. All that is, is a, a, a small closet to hang your coats up. We, we've, we were looking at something earlier on, which is this item here. Now, we, we're not sure what that is. Does anybody have a clue of, uh, of what that is? We, we thought it was uh, some form of a kettle to start off with, but the, the, the thing on top there looks just quite weird. 
I wonder if it could have been an old lamp saying that I bet oh yeah I bet it was <laughs> it looks like an old lamp because uh, uh, or it could have been a like a, a burner for cooking yeah you probably poured your, you put your paraffin in there uh, in in this here, you so saw you poured your paraffin in there with the uh, with the looks of ring. Yeah, I think it could be an old lamp, uh, Sharon, because there's a, a knob on the side here that you can turn, and uh, that would uh, do the glow. So you probably you could be right. Oh, Diane, I mean, Christmas lights there. Some more VHS tapes there, some more train stuff in, in that one. And the, the roof's giving way on, on there as well. Yeah, I, that's why I think it could be it could be no paraffin lamp. Uh, Sharon. Oops, floor. There's a bit of, there's a bit of an oil there. Let's come back over here. Third uh, D, last time left out. Uh, third D, what do you mean, third D? Last time left out, well, us out for Roy, for a Roy. We'll do that when we go downstairs, we'll see if we can get somebody uh, called a Roy here. Now, there is other buildings here, but we've not gone into them because we're also next door to a, to a house, uh, another house. They're very close to us. So uh, we've, we've been here and been quite as uh, as possible. Some bags there. What's in the bags? Bandages. Some some books here. Keeping ducks and geese. Okay. What's this one here? That's an old ma. What's that? Masters of Shilling. Ready reckoner. Okay, oh, uh, that's an uh, old money uh, style uh, book there with the looks of things. These books are really old. Compounds, not sure what they're for. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this is the cleanest room of the uh, of the whole entire house. Uh, we we just don't, we couldn't believe it when we came up, and uh, this is the uh, only room that's uh, basically uh, empty. Old oil lamp, uh, oil eater there. I'm absolutely made up because I've got three coats on. Uh, it's uh, raining outside, very windy. Well, it was earlier on. So uh, there you go, everybody. Gonna uh, go go back downstairs and uh, see what we uh, what we can find here, and uh, tr try and do a little bit of a uh, call it out. See if we get any uh, any spirits uh, to either play with the piano because I'd like to see the piano being touched. Uh, that would be uh, uh, that would be interesting. Not ignoring you, uh, Diane. I did answer you. Uh, so I'm then going to come upstairs and try something up here as well. I'm going to just sit down for a minute and uh, just uh, just have a listen. Yeah, I did. I did mention uh, about Roy. 
I said I will do when I go downstairs when we, uh, uh, what I call it, uh, with the piano. You must not be uh, watching the video. <laughs> So I'm just going to have a minute before I go downstairs. So this has been quite interesting. We're hoping to go into the, some of the other bits of buildings that's, uh, that's uh, uh, about uh, in the, uh, on the farm here. Uh, there's a big barn uh, on its way in here. Uh, and there are also some, some smaller buildings, probably stables uh, as well. Uh, that uh, we've not looked round yet. We all, all we've done is we just stopped in the house uh, because there's a, there's another house next door. It's very close to us, so uh, <coughs> we're uh, keeping us distance uh, from that. Uh, it's a, it wasn't too bad to get in here. Uh, we had to do a little bit of walking, especially over uh, a field, uh, farmer's field, to get here. But we got here in the uh, in the end there. <laughs> Can you hear Tony talking downstairs? He's uh, doing his video for his uh, YouTube page as well. It's done. So I'm gonna come I'm gonna go downstairs now. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, have uh, just a five minute break. So come back here, I'll be back in, in a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna have a, a quick drink and uh, and then uh, we're gonna uh, uh, see if we can catch anything uh, uh, on the piano. Uh, it'd be it'd be really good if uh, we got some activity. I've got a few. I've got about three or four flushy balls on there, so uh, uh, hopefully we might fit some up from downstairs. We've got. Uh, we're going to put some more stuff in the kitchen as well. Uh, I'm not sure. Tony's going to put the microphonics on, and uh, see if we can get any uh, EVPs uh, as well uh, with the uh, microphonic. And uh, and then could probably come upstairs and see we can, what we can get upstairs while we're here. So. Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, part of the video, but uh, uh, like I said, I'm going to go for a drink and uh, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll come and join us uh, back uh, after we've had a drink and see if we can get anything while we're here. It's got very cold now down here. Where are you, Turner? Oh, yeah. How's been happening? I was in that room just before you were. Yeah. And uh, I was asking her when this rent pod was going off. I don't know if you heard it earlier. Yeah, I, I was going off. I didn't hear it now. Was lying. So I came in. Yeah. Uh, checked it out. Asked asking out again. So was her Frank. Yeah. Shirley. Shirley. Oh, you found the picture. Yeah. Is that another passport, Shirley? Yeah. And in there there's someone named Richard. Richard. Yeah. Same relation to the mall. Right. Um Diane said something about Roy. Uh yeah. So if I can just turn them over to show a picture but not because it's got the address on the uh on the finger. So you can show them uh, Show a picture of the people that lived here. What's that one? That's the uh, same one. So uh, you see the the farmer that lived here. 
Um, and looks like his uh, his wife. So we have a Frank here. And then uh, we also have Shirley. Yeah. His uh, looks like his his wife there. Oops. And there's a child there as well, isn't there? Don't know if that's the same woman. Well, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like the same woman. Pellet beer on the table. Oh, yeah. And uh, looks like Shirley. They look a bit older. There you go. Yeah, it's uh, Frank. Same one. Yeah. So there you go. They're the people that lived here. Now, the, uh, the pictures from 1935 could have been... Hear that? I did. Came from that direction, didn't it? Yeah. Gee, it, it sounded like pheasants. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. But. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have a, have a break for five minutes, have a quick cigarette. Before we, uh, before I start calling out, it's got a lot more colder down here, but the the wind is uh, there's wind coming through uh, through there. So, uh, like I said, I want to see if we can pick anything up off this piano. Uh, I'm, uh, I, I, I want to know if uh, we can we can get something from from it, uh, and uh, hopefully. Uh, See if we can get any spirits to uh, give us a note uh, or two. No, no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, notice. Oh, so look, I've uh, I set the uh, flashy ball off uh, with, uh, with touching the key. Oh, set that one off. We're touching the key. So hopefully. It's that. What? The wind. Why is it? The curtain, yes. That's what we could work I thought I heard it there. So, yep, we're going to go for a cup of tea. And hopefully when we come back, we'll figure somewhere to sit. Uh, I did sit on that TV, but I was going through it. Yeah, it might be. William. That could have been, I don't know. William. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to uh, do a little bit of research. Could be all right there. 19... I don't know. 50s, 60s. What do you think, everybody? There's a book fly or a moth on it as well. Yeah, I know. I can see it. I wonder if it's dead or if it's still alive. It's alive. It's alive, but it's on it probably on its last legs. Yeah. There's one up there as well. Yeah, it's available. Reminds me of that film uh, with uh, what's his name, Anthony Hopkins. Is it Anthony Hopkins? And uh, what I call it, uh, Ray Good Looking Bird back in the 80s. Uh, Jodie Foster. Oh, yeah, what do you call film now? I mean, I mean, uh, Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah we are moths. Yeah. Open your mouth, see if any moths fly in your mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, Silence of the Lambs. With, uh, with all the uh, the moths that play in. Play in. Yeah, I, I think so. Rich, Sharon, uh, 1950s, 1960s, something like that. 50s, 60s. Oh shit, I left me a cup of tea, didn't I? And it's gone cold. Yeah, I hope there's no creepy crawlers dropped into it. I'm going to make a fresh one anyway. So I'm going to sit down here. Hopefully I don't go through. There you go. So, I'm going to say goodbye. I'll be back in five minutes. Going to have a quick cup of tea, quick cigarette. And we'll be back. So don't leave us, don't go away. 
make yourself a drink and uh, hurry back because uh, we'll be back in about five minutes so you've got five minutes to make a drink have a fag have something to eat quick sandwich biscuit whatever and then uh, hopefully you'll uh, come and join us back here and then we'll see if we can pick up anything on the uh, on on the, the uh, uh the cat balls bye bye for now see you in a few All right, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, I'm back again, and uh, going to uh, see if we can get any uh, activity uh, on this piano. I can see that the REM pod is uh, sorry. The uh, K2 meter is going off. Uh, that I think that's down to me. Uh, that's only just been started going off, flashing up like that since. Uh, uh, I, I, I went live so uh, looks like I can't use that uh, uh, at, at the moment let's uh, be just having a quick cigarette before uh, I start Anyway, do we have any any spirits here that would like to come forward, come speak to us? Do we have a Frank or Shirley here? My name is Martin, and the other person that's uh, walking around your home is is Tony. Uh, we come here to, uh, to speak to you. Is this your piano? Did you uh, did you uh, enjoy playing the piano? We'd uh, like to see if we can make contact with you. I'm going to turn that K2 meter off because it's, I believe that's me that's causing the, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's because I'm on the internet. So it's causing uh, the uh, the K2 meter to go off. It's a waste of time having it on. So Frank or Shirley, uh, if you're here in this house still, could you show us a sign that you're here? Would you like, can you see the piano? Can you see your piano here? Can you light up the piano? Can you touch a, touch a key on, on the piano? Give us a sign that you're here. Or there's some balls on the piano. Some white balls. They're cat toys. What use for cats for cats to play with and they've got a light inside of them if you go up and touch those lights they'll go off but i'm hoping that you can try and touch the uh, the keys on the on the uh, on the piano and give us a couple of notes that would be really good if you could do that Can you come and show us a sign that you're here? We respectfully ask you to come forward. We've seen some of your, your stuff that's been left here. I'm not sure if you passed away here, Frank, or if Shirley passed away here. We did hear movement earlier on, like somebody was walking around downstairs. Would you like to come and show us a sign that you're here? We're not here to warm you. We're here to just communicate with you.
So if we do, if we have anybody here, Frank or Shirley, would you would you touch that? Uh, the R8. Would you like to touch that piano? Would you, uh, if if you touch that piano, if you touch those keys on that piano, it might light some of those balls up on there, and then that will tell us that you're here, and we can communicate with you. Are you happy? Because we're inside your uh, your house. Are you happy that we're here? Maybe you don't want us here. If you don't want us here, light the balls up until us to leave. It'd be good if you could commu can c communicate with us. Did you live in this uh, this former house for very long? We've seen photos from 1935. Was that your, either your mother or your father? Uh, well, it must have been your mother, Frank or Shirley, that uh, went to the uh, high school, the girls' high school here. And that was from 1935. That could have been could have been you, uh, Shirley. Uh, <clears throat> that uh, that went to, went to that school in 1935. Can you? Okay. to go for five minutes everybody I'm gonna have to go in the dark see what happens here hi Jim we're in the dark because there's people hanging around outside I don't know if they're going to go in trying to come in in here or what
Hello. Hello. <coughs> Shit, that sounds loud. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's better for no one else to be here. Well, well, did you see Rempod? Yeah, I saw that and I wonder what it was. Yeah, Sam. Hey? We we're doing that urban exploring thing where we're coming next Oh, yeah. We're, go we're ghost hunters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you found any, you know, supernatural. Mm, well, we've had a few things going off. Oh, uh, I'm well, well, interested well, we've been here. So. Yeah, because we do, we do the JK urban exploring. Oh, yeah. So we go, like, round different places. Look yeah. Look what whole record stuff has been left out. Yeah. And around. Yeah. Don't touch anything. Leave everything. Here yeah, I'm not sure if that's... Could be my camera. I'm not too sure. If there's anybody here, can you light that up, please? You've been here before? No, no first time. Mm. Which could did you come up the path? Yeah. Yeah, this side bit, yeah. Oh yeah. Up the side of the houses. Yeah, yeah. Are we coming through the back end? Did you? We're yeah. coming through this way, because what we do, so like the pages we like use are yeah. like lost places and forgotten places. Yeah. So it's where people go around, we do all the urban exploring, yeah. you see the derelict places that's been derelict so by themselves. Yeah. We come, we look, we see what like actual yeah. People lived in the it house. might be best to shut that door because th that window might go down to that house down there. Mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah, should be alright. So why would this go off? Uh, mainly for activity. We try and, uh, if there's anything uh, like a spirit, if he yeah. touches it, okay. it it'll uh, it'll light it up. So like it is going now. What well, you heard so far? Hey. What have you heard so far? Well, when we were upstairs, we heard walking. We heard a bang downstairs and walking around. Yeah. So. I'm quite like me, uh, we've paranormal. Been, we've been to the house, haven't yeah. we? Have you ever been there? It's no. It's a boarded up now, apparently. We've got a ghost house for you. She died in that house uh, in 2003. Who oh, did? An old woman. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some lives abroad and they just left it fucking derelict. Yeah. And when we went in there, we were taking photos at the top of the stairs from her bedroom downwards. Yeah. And I said, me and her both said when we got out, we yeah. like, oh, about to see you from? Uh, Warsaw, mate. Well, it's mad like, Warsaw, that's, that's, that's uh, not in Gamint, is it? Yeah. That yeah. was um, Xboxes. Yeah. And the amount of like stuff that's been left and people have just disrespected yeah. and disregarded with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where's South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters, if you've heard us on the... Uh... I think I've seen you on Facebook. Actually. Yeah. She brought up all sorts of things. Mm. I feel you Yeah. I reckon Drake was. Well, we were just going to uh, sit there and, and uh, wait for you walking into the room. What, and shit us up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever been to... Have you heard a place in the mill? Uh, no. That, that's haunted. Very. Um, but is that Nottingham? Is that Plesley? Uh, the White Orbs, Casey. I don't know. Casey I don't know where Ples Plesley is. I've, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen a ghost sat on the stairs. Yeah. So, oh, no. right, there's uh, lots of stuff here. Gun cabinet there. Yeah, I've just noticed that. We don't, we don't actually touch on no yeah. gun yeah, cabinet. Yeah, we're the same. Oh, yeah. The top of that. But, that's the picture I took, and I turned round, and down there, yeah. Or you could feel the cop like cold, and like someone were watching you there. Yeah. But it's just full of old things, like the wedding pictures and everything. Yeah. Oh. Everything. You'll have to uh, join our Facebook page, and uh, what to yeah, call it? Uh, I've got you don't mind being here, do you? Yeah. No, I don't mind. It's not yeah, our house. 
So uh, <laughs> now I've not really yeah. looked at the history with uh, with regards to it. He uh, retired in 2013. Yeah. The old boy that lives there, rest of his homes, and rest of his wife and the car Yeah. Yeah, but we just touch things, we do like them, look at them, yeah. put them back there. Yeah, that's the same as what we do, but I think, is it uh, Frank and. Uh, yeah, Frank and. Uh, I can't remember the woman's name. Yeah. Frank Lewis Arthur. Yeah. Okay. Is this you, Frank? Can you light up those lights? Might have been you, I'm not too sure. Do you want to go back close to it again like you were before? You were a bit further down, weren't you? Yeah. No, I don't think so. The 18th of February, 1937. Yeah. As soon as I started reading his date of birth, that's when it triggered. Yeah, when we went. To is that his date of birth, nineteen thirty-seven? Yeah. What the was? It's going off again. Well, uh, it's when you come here, whatever that is. No, it's. Uh, I don't know if it's. Uh, nineteen thirty-seven. Is that when you were born? Yeah. Can you light all the lights up to say you were born in nineteen thirty-seven, Frank? Is it Frank? Yeah, Frank. Yep. Okay. And his wife was born the 30th of 6, 1943. So there's a picture upstairs. Uh, uh, and her name was Shirley June. Yeah. There's a picture upstairs from 1935 from girls' school. Yes, uh, but I'm not sure who that could be. She was born in 1943. She was born in 1943. Frank, are you here? If that was you, Frank, can you light those, light that light up again for me? Was you born in nine? What was it? Nineteen what? Thirty-seven. Was you born in 1937, Frank? 18th of February. There's some food on there if you want it. We don't want it. <laughs> a, a bit, there's a bit of penicillin in there, in one of them. Where, where have you been in South Yorkshire? Uh, we, we mainly uh, just do a lot of wooded areas and, and things like that. Like uh, we, do, uh, do we do events as well. We do like Fire and Police Museum in Sheffield and uh, yeah. Worthy Top Forge and uh, Road Chabby and places like that. But we've not, not done really nothing down Nottingham yet as, as such. Uh, uh, done Gresley Old Hall uh, a few years ago. You ever been on uh, Barnsley Collar? But yeah, uh, yeah, Barnsley Pit, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I went inside that, you know, before it got. Yeah. You know, we had back doors on it, Jippo as well. Yeah. They smashed it all in, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, I climbed under the doors. And that, that was creepy when you were in there. Yeah, was... well, I, I live about 10 minutes away from there. I used to live in one world. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a. I'm a Paul Pesley, Chapel Town. And then I moved to Pierre when I met her, like. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Can you light that box up again for us? If that were you, Frank? Yeah, I don't know if it could have been you. Could you just put your phone near it? Uh, so wait, your phone is your phone's not interacting with it. No, so it yeah, just a little bit. Just depends yeah. how how close you get to it. Mm. But uh, you were a little bit off, weren't you? Yeah, I was here. I mean, it could have it could have been you that did it. That's, that's not me, not here. Yeah. If that's you, Frank, can you light it right up? Or if it's you, Shirley, if it's one of you, can you light it up? So he, uh, they left here in 2013. Yeah, his wife died. Yeah. And he left months without Mr. Jones Oh, yeah. So he'd be probably gone now, anyway. Mm. It's not just for Shirley, is it? No, well, the both could be, could, but he could come back to this. Uh, 
could come back here. Do you, did you love it here, Frank? I've done a spirit box before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're hoping to do one of them before we go. Yeah, this one history on it. Cottage Hill Farm is a 19th century Chesterfield farmhouse on the Out Road and was once located in rural setting. The property is now surrounded by a built up populated area due to modernisation. The farm was occupied by the Needham family, Frank Needham, a farmer, and his wife Shirley. After his wife passed away, Frank retired in 2013 and lived out the rest of his life in the care home. The farm was sealed up with most of the family's belongings inside, including a number of old vintage items, a player piano from the 1920s. Frank died April, 20, April 2019, age 82. Uh, whilst in recent years the farm has recently been looked after by Frank's niece Sally Ann. It is now sadly known as the farm's as the farm a family forgot because it stands dorm, dorm, yeah. dormant and has been badly trashed and ransacked. Okay. I'm not sure if they had children because these are some pictures of children about Yeah, I've seen them on this on the Facebook page as yeah. well. Because they tried to go um to water purification works up in Sheffield. Yeah. And her uh, brother had been there. Walk down this put this path and it said obviously without authorization. Yeah. Um and then he said that the folk come out and said, fuck off, lad. And I'm gonna have a look on Google Maps there's like two houses situated around it. Yeah. So I said to her, we're better off going in daytime. Yeah. You can see the actual woods type thing. Yeah. But yeah, I've I've been doing this, I'm twenty three, I've been doing it since I was about fifteen. Mm. Um Jeff Hanks yeah. on and off. Um, yeah. Um, the reason I click then over there. Said a clicking noise over there. <coughs> yeah, the reason I take pictures when I come mm. is obviously because then obviously someone might come after me with some other urban export. Yeah. And when I put my pictures on, they might say, well, did, where's that item gone? Mm. That's in this photo, because it's not there now. Yeah. Um, I got accused of that last year. I got accused of stealing uh. a gold watch out of an abandoned house in yeah. um, down London. And I said, no, I said, I went in, looked around, yeah. this is not great. Um, that's why I don't want to touch anything at all. Mm. Yeah, we're saying we don't, we just leave it as it is. I'll turn pages on that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's right. yeah. That's, that's what we do. Mm. Yeah, that's what we do. We don't. Uh, we don't touch you. Well, we touch, have a look, see what the is, and yeah, that's what I do. That's about it. Not worth taking. That was problem though. They didn't know worth taking. Really. No. His name was Frank Louis Arthur. There's a car stuck here. Yeah. 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 From Frank. Hello, <laughs> Date of registration, the 10th of the 4th, 1992. Yeah. <coughs> For a Ford Transit F Reg. This is for a uh, Persia. Yeah, they must have had a few cars. Yeah, I there's still a bit of old machinery in that. Yeah. Over there. Is there? We've not been we're not been round that bit because we're a bit worried because you know neighbour. Yeah, but there's uh, bits of tools in here and uh, and other stuff if you want to have a look. That's what I mean. I just don't get why people nick nick stuff. To the yeah. I think we can call it in here for seven years. Yeah. Yeah. If you go upstairs, be careful uh, uh, because some some floor is spongy. Yeah, just got some uh, some flashy balls on piano, hoping that uh, uh, well, well, just as y'all walked in, we were just calling out, see if anybody uh, was here. I wanted to, uh, we were calling out Frank and Shirley, see they wanted to communicate with us, but we didn't get no balls lighting up yet. Well, I said to her when we come in, I said someone's here, as soon as I saw that thing, and Josh went, do you want pictures? I said, right, where, mate? Because when we went to that one Chesterfield the other day, went upstairs and took a fucking shit. Yeah. Piss, and I said to her. So when we went in the bathroom, I looked out the toilet and I had to fetch shit. Yeah. 
Yeah. And she said she heard someone run out while we were upstairs. Uh. But we went down to the cellar and it was like a um, cellar like that had three doors on it, but two had been pulled off and one down the cellar. Yeah. We went down the door that we left on were open. Mm. We went down and come back up, it was shut, wasn't it? So I've I've come across some, some right fucking lunatic. Yeah. When I've been doing this, I once went to this house and this woman come in and she came through back door, she went, This is my fucking house, blah 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 whoa. I'm like, I'm an urban explorer, I'm not here to trash out, I'm not here to take out, so I'm here to take a few pictures, explore, leave your property in peace. Yeah. And when I told her that, she was like, oh, it's a bit of a weird hobby, and I spoke to her for about half hour, and it turned out it was her husband, it was like a crematorium bit, mm. her husband that owned it, when he died, she just shut it up. Yeah. But she said she'd been having problems with vandals and mm. Yeah, that's it, uh, we've been to a few places, uh, and uh, what I call it, uh, uh, it's just been wrecked. It got even more wrecked uh, as uh, as we've gone in from time and time. Have you been to that tarmac factory in Matlock? No. That's uh, that's not a good place to go to. We didn't. We don't get much activity there, but it's it's big place, isn't it? It's, yeah, I say, go to the place in Hill, you'll get Lucy. Oh, we are. The place in Hill I went when I was. Is that got arches in it? I couldn't tell you now. I went when I was about seven, eight. And you could only go up single file. Ah. And when we got to the top, all the doors were locked and mm. you could only come single file down. Yeah. And I saw someone sat on the stairs, no one believed me. Mm. Someone just went in, blah, blah, blah. And it was right with what, what I seen. I don't think most of our kids have thought though. Yeah, there is a couple of pictures. There's a, a picture of a. There's a, kid, a picture of a kid down there somewhere. And there's upstairs, if you go upstairs, well, in that back room there, there's a. PS1 uh, mm. console, no, that's upstairs, isn't it? Uh, boxes, Xbox One boxes for scale electrics. Scale electrics. Yeah, I once, I once went into a building, it was like in another farmhouse. Yeah. I can't remember where it was, I went in there like a GoPro, about five of us. Mm. And we suddenly we heard like someone smashed it up inside. Yeah. And one of the lads are weird, big fucking, fucking unit. He just pushed him to the floor and told him to fuck off. And he went, for God's sake, God, you are. Like, yeah. speak. So, smashing the house up. And mm. to be honest, people just think everyone that's going in is just going to do the same. Mm. I'm more interested in history behind it and stuff like that. Yeah. Why fucking people just. Yeah, it. that's so it. Retired, went into a care home, and families just left it. Yeah. I'd, have oh, bought, I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd have bought this and had yeah. to take it on. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't too sure why. The, if you look at outdoors, there's locks on doors. Padlocks. So we, we, we don't know why we were thinking whether well, bed and breakfast, it really is a bed and breakfast, but I saying that the could the people who owned it could yeah, have uh, locked, sealed it up. tried sealing it up as much as possible. Obviously preserve it. Yeah. But yeah, it's just once fucking vandals get in and yeah, that's and it. Them, them that have illegal raves and that. I've gone to a warehouse before and it's fucking music outside. Mm. Just pop their head right there's been about 500 people all sitting in the warehouse. Yeah. We're fucking generators in. I'm the rain and I'm like, yeah, drink it all. Mm. But it's just madness, it's just unreal. Yeah. How many people just trash them, that's why. As soon as they're going to paper, I don't tend to even bother going to look at them. Yeah. If they're featuring like a newspaper or like that. Yeah. As soon as they're going to paper, people are looking them up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also went into a pub and found three homeless people sleeping there upstairs. Mm. Left them alone, spoke to them, and I said, I said, said we're well, not trashing it, just sleeping here, we're right in bed. Mm. I said, well, I said, what do you want from me, Cass? I said, I'm fucking bugged. Yeah, we've been to places like that, we've found sleeping bags and that, haven't we? Yeah. So. So I said, well, that's one thing I won't do, I won't have an explorer on my own. Mm. Never have done, never will do. Obviously, if I have an accident, yeah, that's it. Floor, yeah, like that. at least if I fall through the floor, she can just fuck off out and bring police or something. Yeah, so I'll get my heart, stuff like that. But then, one of their own, I think there's something to be done with it. Yeah, this is chaos, and it's just the time to try and think. I always try and go at least with another person, at least one person. Mm. Some houses you walk into, the stairs look fine. You look like this, you know, it looks fine. So it's fucking put upstairs. Oh yeah, it's straight through. We did, I've done that. I've seen one of our members uh, 
uh, do that. They've uh, walked upstairs and the foot's gone straight through. Mm. <coughs> so that way, Grizzly, uh, that Grizzly, all that. I went to that earlier, this field, that was the first one I took her to. That's just mad, because Airsoft plays only as well. So is, he, is he still getting that one? You can still get in, yeah. Um, I think it's a bit of a thing. We went to, uh, where did Church Fenton, have you been there? No, not yet. Uh, I won't bother, they've knocked it down. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we went a couple of months ago to Church Fenton and uh, the, there's no there now. Uh, they've they've uh, knocked knocked it all down. We've been twice, uh, Church Fenton, hmm. and uh, there's, there's no left of the place. I'll show you that thing inside the Right, it's very awkward, you have to crawl. It's going out towards coast, isn't it? Yeah, it's going towards Scarborough. Yeah. Because when we went, we got we got location off to uh, someone on Facebook. We didn't tell that to go in, and they were like, if you're still mate, just give me a bell and I'll play that to go in, like. <laughs> Anyway, everybody, uh, I'm going to uh, let you go, and uh, uh, and we'll be setting off home soon. Anyway, not getting much activity here. And uh, what what group are you all called again? Uh, what's our Facebook page called? Well, we'll just set it up. <laughs> JKL Urban Explorers. JKL Urban Explorers. So we'll try to look for that. When we go, when we get on. So uh, anyway, uh, bye bye everybody, and uh, thanks for watching the video.